Hello everyone, welcome to the Scratch Coding class. In this video, I'm, I'm going to explain every single motion block in Scratch in 7 minutes. But before we start, make sure to subscribe, it's free and it'll only take you 2 seconds. Let's get started. I'm ready. 3, 2, 1, let's go. So first of all, we got move 10 steps. This will simply move the sprite a number of steps in the direction it's pointing in. So right now it's pointing right. So if we just simply get it to move 10 steps, it's going to move forward. And you can always use minus 10 if you want to move the opposite way. Now, we have got turn. This is your direction if you want to turn your sprite around. So right now, I'm going to explain this block. Because this is rotation style. It should be all around, which is a 360 degree circle. So it will just continue rotating. If I set the rotation style round like this. But if I set it to the left and right, then it won't really do much. It will just point in a direction because it's only got two options. It's either left or it's either right. Or you can set don't rotate, so it can't rotate at all. So I'm just going to set it to all around as default. Now we have got anti-clockwise and it basically just turns your sprite the other way. Though if you use minus values it will turn it clockwise. So you can reverse it without getting another block if you think that's helpful. And now we have got go to random position. This will make the sprite go anywhere on the backdrop. You can't decide it's completely random so... It goes there first time, then it might go there, then it might go there. It's different each time. And now, we have also got a new function on the arrow here. You press it, you got mouse pointer, and this will make this right go to the mouse pointer. So, quick demonstration. I'm going to go when green flag clicked, and we're going to we're gonna press the green flag, and we're going to wait for one second, and that's going to go to the mouse pointer. There it is. Is that my mouse pointer now? And now we have simply got go to X, Y. And this is where you want your sprite to teleport to. So if I go 0, 0, it's going to go to 0, 0. And the X axis is left to right. So this axis here is going to be your left axis. So I've actually got a backdrop. It's going to really help on scratch. And this is simply your X, and this is simply your Y. So I'm actually probably going to use that. And now, we have got glide to random position. And this will glide the sprite. It's not going to teleport instantly. It's just going to move the sprite in that direction, which is really helpful. So it's going to move. It's going to have to move faster sometimes because the random position is very random. And you only get one second. So... If I want to do two seconds, it's going to be a bit slower. Okay, and we got mouse pointer, and this will glide the sprite to the mouse pointer. So it's basically like the other function we did, except it's going to glide this time. So I'm not going to demonstrate it yet. And now we have got change X and set X, change Y and set Y. And these blocks, we really won't be using them that much unless you just want one value to be changed. I know beginners like using the steps. So we got change x by and this is going to move your sprite in the x axis. It's different to the move steps because if my direction was different I'm going to go into it. So in a few minutes then it's going to move in that direction. It's not going to move in X axis. So now we have got change X by 10. It's going to move the sprite into the X axis. If I can always change the values and it's going to move it back. And the Y is not changing, it's only the X. Now we've got set X2 and this is going to set your X value. So we've got set X to 82. It's just the X value is always going to be 82 unless I change it. Y is the same. You can go up or you can go down. And if you want to use arrow keys, then these are the blocks to go with. And then we got set Y, so it's going to set the Y in a position. Now, this is the most important part, direction. This is the direction with the sprite is pointing at. So, this is 90 degrees. So, this is move 10 steps. It's going to move in the direction of 90 degrees. 
So if I'm going to demonstrate a noise, Scratch has provided a very helpful feature, so we can always change the direction to minus 90 degrees. And if I did, then it's going to move in the other way. So move 10 steps is quite different to the change X block. And now we got point towards mouse pointer. It's just simply going to point towards my mouse pointer, which is if I press, it's going to point here. If I move the block down, it's just going to follow it. And now we have simply got literally four blocks left and we only have about one and a half minutes so it's a big rush so this is the if on edge bounce so if the sprite touches the edge it'll just simply bounce back and it's not really a good demonstration for this because it only bounces up like one or two steps it's not much you can't really see it so this is good for ping pong games if you really want to use this and I don't really use it that often because I don't make I don't make too many games use, um, with ping pong. So now we got set rotation style to the left to right, and this is we've already explained. Don't rotate and all around. And now we have got X position, Y position, and direction. So your X position is your X coordinate. So the X coordinate is zero right now. So let's say if I set the X to ninety and X is at 90, X position is 90, and this is not a full block, so you're going to have to use it for, like, set Y to X position, so, so be aware of that, and now you've got your Y position, which is the exact same thing, but your Y coordinate, so my Y coordinate is currently minus 23, and their direction, it's going to give you a value of whatever direction you're pointing at, it's probably going to be in degrees, and it's just going to be a long decimal, but you can ignore that. And now we have naturally got 10 seconds left and I'm just going to check if we know all the blocks. We know everything here. So I think this was a success. The timer's going to go off. There we go, the timer went off. And that's it for today's video. So I hope you find this tutorial helpful and I hope you have a better understanding of the motion block. Or if you're just a beginner, I hope you learnt most of them. So now, thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like on it. And subscribe if you want to see more. Because I might continue this series and we might do the look block. We might do the looks lex. It depends on the number of views this video is getting. So, bye bye.